We're going to move over here and we're going to just have a quick look at our sump pump and our sump pit area here. Underneath this cover is a pit that is roughly about three feet deep into the ground. And in that pit there are uh, pipes that are connected to the weeping system around the footings of this house. Now when we get periods of heavy, heavy rain uh, or even snow melt combined with heavy rain, you get a lot of water, a lot of moisture, a lot of runoff that falls down along the foundations and that water needs to be able to go somewhere so that is collected by the weeping tiles and basically distributed into our storm sewers. Unfortunately what happens sometimes during periods of heavy melt, heavy rain is that those uh, weeping tiles cannot handle that volume of water so they will end up going into the sump pit as well to pick up any extra moisture, any extra water volume and there's a pump inside here which will basically eject that water or the excess water that's going out here. It goes up this pipe and gets ejected outside where again it can just drain off into the natural uh, drainage of, of the surrounding area. Unfortunately what can happen though is that during periods of storms when we do get those heavy heavy rains another phenomenon tends to happen and that is basically the power will go out. If the power is out in the entire house obviously we have a pump here that has an electrical motor in it and that pump is not going to turn on. The nice thing about these homes that I really really like is they have a backup system here that basically works on uh, hydraulic pressure from the water system itself. So we this is, this is tied into our main water system even if the power goes out we're still going to have water flowing throughout because that's connected to the entire city system. This goes down and creates a pressure inside there and basically what happens with this is it creates a siphon within the sump pit itself and so that water pressure will actually cause a siphoning action and again that sump pit will never fill up. We do not want that sump pit filling up with uh, excess water because if it does get to a level where it reaches above what we end up with is flooding inside our basement. Right? The last thing that we do want uh, a lot of times we have storage in these areas as well so any contents anything like that's going to end up getting water damaged so this is a really great extra feature that I, I really like to see.